All right, today I'm going to be reviewing Lime Runner 2017. Pretty much this is Sonic Project 2017 if you're just finding out about this. It was meant to be the 25th anniversary game, but Sega couldn't get it done by then. So to start this, let's just talk about the gameplay. There are only three play styles for Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, and the custom character. Modern Sonic has basically, you know, been gimped. And he's had his abilities taken away. You know, like the drift, wall jump, and <laughs> the biggest hit of all is his ability to pick up rings. They took that away. He controls worse than HD Unleashed, and that was uncontrollable, you know. He's way stiffer than in Generations, and he auto-turns. He hits his max speed immediately, like it just jerks him forward, you know. It's just kind of awkward. You will always go form to your death because of that one sharp turn that could easily be drifted through. You know, but the homing attack? The homing attack, oh don't get me started, it only works when it wants. If you want to target an enemy, you better hope another one isn't under or next to it. If there is one, you'll have to wait it out, or you'll die because, you know, you took too long and the radical didn't lock on. It always locks onto the wrong enemy and sends you in the wrong direction. Sometimes it even locks on way too quick and then goes off immediately. The double jump is back in colors, and trust me, it gets annoying when you want a homing attack, but he double jumps instead, you know, leading to your death. The custom character plays better than Modern Sonic. You know, he or she has a grappling hook that acts as the homing attack. Your character, you know, it can either be a bird, dog, cat, bear, rabbit, or wolf. You can also play as a hedgehog who takes Sonic's ability to recollect rings. The custom character is by far the best character. With the episode of Shadow DLC, you can get to play as Shadow and he is faster than Modern Sonic. He also has the Lost World Homing Tech, which is good. He also has three stages of his own. Pretty much, if you're going through the story, download the episode of Shadow DLC first and play as Shadow throughout the entire game. Last but not least, the worst character of them all is Classic Sonic. He plays horrible. He doesn't play like Generations at all, alright? Of course he has a drop dash, but his physics are screwed. He falls like a rock when you jump, and he slows down if you do anything else but hold right. And, okay, I know this is out of the ordinary, but I'm gonna be doing something new. I'll be introducing level design as a subject to talk about, alright? Their total lines and they're way too easy, even on hard mode, you know? All you do is just boost until it gets into like a 2D section. The formula for Modern Sonic and everyone else just without, you know, the boost. Line, rail, 2D section, rail, line, and then end, you know? That's it. You know, there's nothing different and there's actually one stage that uses the wall jump, but that's custom character only, you know? And plus, it's, you know, there are only four good levels out of the 50 that are in it. Most alternate paths, they meet back up, or they, you know, end up being nothing but 12 seconds long. They have... This, this shocks me the most. Sega had three, three level designers in four years, yet they couldn't push out more than four good levels. It, it's just really shocking, you know? But on to the soundtrack. The OST for this game is great, but it's unfitting for a Sonic game. You'll hear songs, you know, you'll hear the songs.
These songs are a driving force, okay? That kept me going, you know? It kept me going, you know? Like, seriously, if these songs were not in the game, I would basically not write this review. I would not do anything. Like, I wouldn't keep playing. I would drop the game immediately. The boss battles are repetitive and recycled throughout the story. Like, if you fight one boss, you will fight it again sooner or later, you know? Modern Sonic's bosses are just boost and then homing attack when you're near the enemy. The custom characters just shoot with your wisp on. And speaking of wisp bombs, you have burst, lightning, drill, hover, cube, asteroid, and void. Classic Sonic is just, you know, knock rocks into the boss. That That's it. They don't really come up with anything different. Just knock bosses, you know, knock rocks at the boss. The story is relatively typical, but one part ruins it all. The story starts, well, hold on, let me give you, let me give you a spoiler warning. Okay, so here's how this goes. <laughs> Shadow beat me, so I'm gonna attack Sonic and help Eggman take over the world. Yeah! We doing it, boys! Yeah, pr pretty much he's just, you know, a straight-up pushover, and he isn't even a good main villain. And, you know, of course after you beat the game, you expect something new, right? You expect something good? No, you get nothing. No Super Sonic, nothing. It turns out that the modders had to actually put Super Sonic back into the PC version. So basically, me getting the Platinum Trophy for this review is just for confirmation so that you rabid fans don't accuse me of not playing any Sonic games. I'm the only reviewer to actually get the Platinum Trophy, so you can believe me when I tell you anything, okay? <laughs> or you can't. That's your choice, alright? So pretty much, for replay value you have the daily missions that you can do, you know, those, you can do those along with missions for items, red rings, the normal, the number rings, and silver moon rings. The replay value is nothing pretty much, because you don't earn anything. To be honest, this game isn't even worth the money and I urge you not to buy this unless you want to see how bad or disappointing it is. It's a waste of time and it's unfinished, literally. This is why Sega needs to rush out their games. You know, <laughs> because this isn't original at all, and it ruins the Boost to Win formula. It was doing so good until this happened. Like, personally, I think it's a piece of trash, and I called it. Like, I legitimately called it. The first time we seen gameplay, I said, this is bad. It's not going to be good. And then I was right, you know? But <laughs> let's just get this over with. Sonic Forces gets a 3 out of 10, just for the third of the game that's good, and the soundtrack. 